Commerce with Energy Efficiency DR. I'm here today to talk about the most impressive window insulator in the world. The most impressive window covering that you can ever find. It makes any window much more energy efficient than an existing window or any window covering you can buy. Or a replacement window. What we've got today is a radiant heater because we've shown before the, the great powers that Inflector has for solar heat. Now we're going to show you what it does for radiant heat. Radiant heat is a big source of heat movement and it's a great source of heat gain and heat loss. So I've got a window here with an inflector insulator on it. So I'm going to check the temperature right now on this window which is 25 degrees Celsius and the temperature on the inflector screen which is also 25 degrees Celsius. So we're starting out with a 25 degrees Celsius now I'm going to put on our radiant heater. And then we'll be back just a minute with some results. Okay, here we are again. We've got our radiant heater going because we're trying to show how Inflector works with radiant heat. Inflector has three useful properties that make it very energy efficient. So what we're dealing now with the radiant heat, we've already shown it has superior ability with, with solar heat. And we'll have another demonstration. So now we've got this temperature is at 48 degrees Celsius from the radiant heater hitting our glass. So that's heat from the outside hitting our glass. Let's see how the inflector is doing at the same time. 27. We started off with 25 degrees Celsius and now it's only grabbed, went up 2 degrees Celsius while on the side where the window is that's getting the radiant heat, it's up to 45 degrees Celsius. What I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to change it. This is a radiant heater. This is a solar radiant heater and what it's doing is providing radiant heat right to our window. So radiant heat comes from the outside. It comes from other buildings. It comes from asphalt. It comes from concrete. The heat in the sun is absorbed and particularly in cities. This is called the solar effect. It's also called the inner island effect. So again, we have that tape on there so you can see we can read the temperature, it won't go through the glass. 46 degrees Celsius. At the same time, 28 degrees Celsius on the inflector. Let's real quickly change that over to Fahrenheit and do the same thing. Okay, now Fahrenheit, temperature on the window, 119 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature on the inflector insulator, 82 degrees. Because of the emissive the emissivity in the inflector, it's stopping about 76% of all the radiant heat from coming in. So we've got a phenomenal result here. Inflector and radiant heat, 118 degrees Fahrenheit on the window glass, just inches away behind the inflector that's protecting it, only 82 degrees. That's 18, that's 37 degrees Fahrenheit difference between the two windows right now. Now we're going to cut this thing off and we're going to do another test that shows how inflector can keep heat in. So this is phenomenal. It's unequal for keeping heat out. Solar and radiant heat. Now we're going to show how it can keep radiant heat in your home or building. Okay, we already had the opportunity to show you how inflector is superior keeping solar and now radiant heat out. Now let's see how inflector does at keeping heat in. Now you're trying to keep the heat into their house or building. Okay, I'm going to do again do the check on the material. Inflector is at 27 degrees, 27.8 degrees Celsius. The window is at uh, 29 degrees Celsius. So we basically got the thing back normalized where it's at regular heat. Now the question is, we've got a heat source inside. Now 80% of the heat movement within a home or building is radiant heat. This is simulating this is a radiant heater. So we're going to create radiant heat and see if we can keep that radiant heat inside. Can we keep heat inside of the building that would normally go out? Remember, most of the heat, most energy is lost out the windows. So now we've found a way to insulate the windows where we're keeping heat out when we don't want it out and in when we do want it in. And even as we're going to show you in a few minutes, multiplying that heat that you're bringing in. So, okay, and we've seen the temperature again. Reflect the temperature, 27.8. Temperature on the, this will now be the inside window, 28. So they're almost exactly identical. And now we're going to crank up the heater in just a moment. We'll come back and show you the results of how we can show that inflector can keep heat inside a building. Okay, we've got our radiant heater going again. And now we're showing the radiant heat is inside the building. And let's see what's going on now. We checked just a while ago. The temperature is about the same. 
53 degrees Fahrenheit, 53 degrees Celsius already on the inflector. That's the temperature hitting the surface and reflecting back into the room. And is it reflecting away from the window? Indeed it is, 28. We've already got from 51 degrees to 28. So that's uh, 23 Celsius. degrees Celsius. 23 degrees Celsius difference already. So now that heat is hitting the inflector because of the emissivity in the inflector. It's returning, and the reflectivity, it's returning that heat back in the room, keeping it away from that window. So uh, I was talking to a gentleman in Belgium, and it was uh, 3 degrees Celsius outside, so it was 3 degrees Celsius outside. We're keeping the heat in and keeping it from being lost through that window. 53 degrees Celsius on the inflector side, reflecting heat back into the space. 28 degrees. 28 degrees Celsius difference between these two surfaces already. So now I'm going to make a quick change over so we get this thing in Fahrenheit. Now let's see what we have. 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Heat coming back into the room. 83 degrees outside. 73 degrees difference temperature in Fahrenheit between the heat that's being kept back into the room. So we've definitely shown the inflector is phenomenal for keeping radiant heat out when you don't want it out and keeping heat in when you do want it in. Now we're going to do a little test to show the inflector's solar loading capabilities. Okay, as you've already seen, the inflector is superior for keeping solar heat out before, and today we're showing you how the inflector is superior to keeping radiant heat out when you don't want it out and in when you do want it in to make much more energy efficient. Now we're going to show the incredible solar loading benefit the solar absorption benefit of the inflector. No other product has this. It makes it far superior to any other product. So what we're going to do is we're going to check the surface temperature again on the inflector, 27 degrees, 27.8 degrees Celsius. The temperature on the window, again this is the inside, 28. So what we're going to do now is we want to see with the window reversed. Now the sun is outside the inflector has its dark side toward the outside window, and we want to see how much heat we are able to pull, free heat we can pull, into the room. We got a EDTM solar lamp that's creating our heat. This is a professional window glass testing temperature. So it's already starting to heat up. It's 29 degrees Celsius on the inflector. Again, this represents our outside sun. And on the inflector material, it's already starting to increase. It's up to 32. So we're already warmer than the heat that's coming would come through the glass. In fact, what we can show you is that you can basically get 85 times more heat through the inflector than you get through your normal glass on a cold but sunny day. So what the inflector is doing, and again, this is in the winter configuration, is it's absorbing, it's multiplying the free heat that's available out there. Magnifying. Magnifying it. Magnifying the, the free heat. Okay, now we're up to 30 degrees on the glass surface. On the inflector surface, 35. We've already got 5 degrees of extra heat. We're going to get much, much more than that because what we have is all this dark surface is now absorbing that heat from the outside sun and it's penetrating through the holes that are put in there, the perforations that allow you to see outside and inside. So what we're doing is we're now we're multiplying that free heat. 31 degrees. 38 degrees. Already 7 degrees Celsius of free heat. Now what this really becomes important to is in the winter. In the winter it's cold but the sun is shining. The glass temperature will be relevant to the outside temperature. So if it's 3 degrees Celsius, then the glass will be relative, outside the glass will be relatively close to that. The inside of the glass will be about 10 degrees Celsius warmer. But the inflector can be way, way warmer because it's taking advantage of the free heat. Okay, let's take another look right now. We're up to 32 degrees Celsius, 36 degrees, 38 degrees. Again, this is a, a benefit that only inflector has. With most window coverings, the window covering has no effect on the amount of heat that's coming in. It has no benefit. 
inflector is insulating this airspace right here. It's creating a dead trapped airspace that is providing you lower infiltration, lower heat loss, and now again solar heat gain. It's up to 34 right now. 39, 5 degrees Celsius. Do a quick check and see what this is in Fahrenheit. 96 degrees on the outside surface of the window. 108. So we've got an additional 96 uh, in Fahrenheit. 14 degrees extra of the Ninety six, one hundred and six. Now we've got ten degrees, thirteen degrees of free heat. So, again, what you have here is a product unlike any other product in the world because what we're able to do because of the emissivity in the material and the reflectivity and the absorption give you much better performance than you can get with any window covering in the world or any replacement window. It's a product that keeps heat much better in than any window out there. Keeps heat out when you want it out better and again the, the quality that no other product has solar absorption. 96 degrees now 109 degrees. So what kind of different applications do these come in? Great news is, is there's three different ways you can have inflector installed on any window. What you're seeing there is the panel. The panel is the most energy efficient because it creates a dead air seal. But we also have it in a roller shade and a vertical shade. Either one of the vertical or the roller shades outperform any window that you can buy. One of the very, very special features of inflector window insulator which is solar loading, solar collecting. Inflector is the only product we know that can actually multiply the free heat. So on a cold but sunny day, and here's our sun, Inflector will actually pull extra heat in. See, temperature on the glass is 42 degrees Celsius. Temperature on the Inflector, 56. Have a difference, a significant difference from this. Let's also check it in Fahrenheit. Temperature on the glass, 110 degrees. Temperature on the inflector, 129 degrees. 19 degrees of free heat. It's actually even more than that because what happens is we don't have this glass cold, but the glass will get cold in the winter. It'll be relevant to the outside temperature. So the glass will be much cooler than that, and the inflector at the same time is absorbing the heat. We've actually seen it over 70 degrees Fahrenheit difference between the outside and the inside with the solar collector benefit. So inflector, because of that dark surface now, is actually multiplying the heat that you're receiving, and that's significant free heat. So inflector keeps the heat out when you want it out, keeps the heat in when you want it in, and on, as a special bonus, Inflector is the only product we know that actually multiplies that free heat outside to save you a lot of money. To prove what a wonderful and miraculous product this is, look at this solar infrared picture. Spot one is inflector magnifying that heat, bringing that free heat into your home at 109 degrees. A pair of window at 74.7 degrees generating very little or no heat. And a wall 77.4 degrees. This is a south facing window on January 14, 2009. Again, the difference between 77 and 109 is 32 degrees. That is in front of window inserts, bringing that heat in your home, magnifying that heat. This by decreasing your electric bill, making your heater work less and less, extending the life of that AC unit. If cold is the issue, not only does inflector reflect the heat back into the building thereby reducing heat loss but has solar loading absorption and a one-way heat transfer. According to Yellow Solar Energy Laboratories, the heat absorption in plain glass is 6%. Heat absorption of a black side inflector is in 51% or an increase of heat absorption of 750%. That is amazing. 
as you can see from this thermal imaging camera the outside window glass temperature was 16.3 de degrees on a cold day in Maine on the next caption you will review how an inflected window insulator on an R22 insulated wall spot one was 67.3 degrees and the inflector interior window insert temperature was 64.4 degrees get comfort like a well insulated wall and keep your view the point is to stop the hot and cold exfiltration infiltration let's be more energy efficient and insulate our windows don't replace insulate